Hi class, how are you today? How's your weekend? That's great. Today class, we will have a new topic. And class, this will be our topic today. Elements of poetry. So first, I will discuss you about poet. What is poet? Is Poet is the author of the poem. Okay, the one who wrote the poem. Second, theme. The theme of a poem is a truth, lesson, or message about life. So, of course, in writing a poem, there is always the theme. If the poem talks about love or revenge, etc. That is what we call theme. Third is the mood. The mood is the feeling a poet is trying to convey. The mood is what's the author's feeling and insights about the topic. Line. A line is a single row of words in a poem. The easiest one. Line is a single row. Like for example, I eat peace with honey. I eat peace with honey. I've done it all my life. It makes the peace taste funny, but it keeps them on the nifa by anonymous or by unknown. So the red one here, the this would be the first line. This would be the second line, third line, and the fourth line. Okay? Did you get it? The fifth one is stanza. Stanza are a series of lines grouped together and separated by an empty line from other stanzas. So, to identify a poem's structure is to count the lines of every stanza. If we have two lines, we call it couplet. Three lines, tercet. Four lines, quatrain. Five lines, cinquain. Six lines, sestet. Seven lines, septet. Eight lines, octave. So, we have here an example of a poem entitled A Happy Child. My house is red, a little house. A happy child am I. I laugh and play the whole day long. I hardly ever cry. I have a tree, a green, green tree, to shade me from the sun. And under it, I often sit when all my play is done. So, as you can see, these four lines here is what we call stanza. This is the first stanza. This is the second stanza. Okay. Again, stanza consists of lines. How many lines do we have here in the first stanza? We have four lines. One, two, three, four. And if we have four lines, it is what we call this one? Quatrain. Very good. Six, rhyme. It is the identical rhyme if the last words or sounds match each other. So we have what we call alliteration. If the first letter of the word sounds like or match the word, another word. Okay, like followed, flats, front, bother, back. We have also a sonance. Big, slipper, pig, slimy. Okay. We have here an example titled Hickory Dickory Duck. So it is common because we already have this during our elementary days. So let's read Hickory Dickory Duck. The mouse ran up the clock. The clock struck one. The mouse ran down. Hickory Dickory Duck. So the red one here, duck, clock, rhyme to each other, right? One and down also rhyme. So, duck, clock, one down. So, seven, meter, or what we call rhythm. It is called the rhythm in poetry. It is the pattern of beats, or foot, stress and unstressed syllables in a line. It is also called foot. So, the same example of poem. Hickory dickory duck. Okay. Can you clap the pattern of accented syllables in that poem? Okay, yes. Let's try. Hickory dickory duck. The mouse ran up the clock. 
the clock struck one, the mouse ran down, he curried it, curried down. So there is a what we call beat. He curried it, curried down. The mouse ran up the clock. The clock struck one, the mouse ran down, he curried it, curried down. Okay, very good. Did you follow? That's good. So, in a meter or in a rhythm, there are four basic rhythms in poetry. First is IAMB. IAMB is unstress, followed by stress, or B, B. Example, today we live. Today we live. Okay, unstress, stress. Second one is touche. Stress, unstressed. Example, Captain, it's gone. Hold it. Captain, it's gone. Hold it. Okay, that is what we call crochet, stress and unstress. Third one is anapest. Unstress, unstress, stress. Again, unstress, unstress, stress. Example, if I cry, if I leave. If I cry, if I leave. So the stress there is cry and live. If I cry, if I live. The fourth one is dactyl. Stress and stress and stress. Again, stress and stress and stress. Example. Carnage is horrible. Heritage. Okay. Carnage is horrible. Heritage. Remember those class because we will have a short quiz later on. Okay, for your activity, you need to analyze the elements of poetry used in a given poem. Write your answers in the comments section. I will give you three minutes to answer. Remember two points each number. Okay. Here is the poem. Titled From Above by Kale Young Rice. So, this is the first question. How many stanzas does this poem have? How many stanzas does this poem have? Second, how many lines are in each stanza? Third, what is the poem's structure? Fourth, do any of the lines rhyme? Five. What is the rhyme scheme? Six. Who is I on the poem? Seven. Is there a repetition on the poem? Eight. What are those? Nine. Does the poem have repeated pattern? Ten. Can you clap the pattern of the accented syllables? Okay, let's check your answers class. Okay, for question number one, how many stanzas does this poem have? Okay, let's count. One, two, three, four. The answer should be four. Okay, two. How many lines are in each stanza? Okay, one, two, three. One, two, three. So, the answer should be 3. Okay. How many lines do we have? 3 lines. So, if we have 3 lines, it is what we call third set. Okay, third set. Do any of the lines rhyme? Yes. The word bear and air rhyme to each other. What is the rhyme scheme? Okay, the word bear and air rhyme. Dark and quark rhyme. Gray and way rhyme. So, me to say A. Dark and quark B. Gray and way C. So, the rhyme scheme is A, B, C, A, B, C. Who is I on the poem? Who is I on the poem? So, as we can see, the I there is the author. 
or what we call poet. Okay. Seven, is there a repetition on the poem? Of course, yes. What are those? The word, what do I care, and sulan. In the first stanza, there is what do I care. Second one also, the third one. So that is the repetition. Another one is the word sulen. On the third stanza, you can see sulen written in two lines. Sulen. Okay, number nine. Does the poem have repeated pattern? Yes. Then, can you clap the pattern of the accented syllables? Let's try. What do I care if the trees are bare and the hills are dark and the skies are gray? What do I care for chill in the air for frost to park at a rock in spring? What do I care for the dead slips there or the swollen road with the swollen wood? There's a heart in my heart to bear my load so enough that day is good. Okay, the answer should be yes. There is a what we call beat. Okay, so another activity, direction. Identify the following definitions. Write your answers in the comment section. I will give you three minutes to answer. Remember, two points each number. Okay. So, here are the questions. Timer starts now. Three, two, one. Time is up. So, let's check your answers. Okay. Number one, the number and style of accented syllables in the line. The number and styles of accented syllables in the line, the answer is meter. Group of lines in a poem. Group of lines in a poem. Stanza. Okay. Single row of words in a poem. Okay. The answer is line. A truth lesson or message about life. Team. The feeling of the poet is trying to convey. Mood. The beat sound and feel of a poem. Rhythm. Collection of words written to inspire ideas, imagination, or emotion. It is a poem. Describes words that have the same ending sounds. Rhyme. Four line stanzas. Four line stanzas. Quatrain. Unstress, stress. It is a meter. Unstress, stress. I am. So for your assignment class, make your own original spoken word poetry video to be passed on April 23, 2021. You will be graded based on the following rubrics. Rubrics. Originality, 10%. Creativity, 20%. Message, 30%. Impact, 40% with a total of 100%. I know you can do that class. Because, always remember, anyone can be a poet. And, everybody can write a poetry. So, that's will be all class. God bless.